Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Tiara Chardé. I am a spiritual mentor, certified master life coach, high priestess, ordained minister, and CEO and founder of the Embodying the Goddess Transformation Program, as well as the Pussy Portal Program. Welcome in, subscribe, give this video a like, and all the information to contact me is in the description box, okay? So this is a prophetic word. There was a lot of messages coming in and I was like, yeah, I have to upload this and record this for y'all. So you are a divine blessing. You are meant to be a testimony of the most high's favor. Okay. I'm getting that your path has been unconventional for a reason. Um, most of my community, you may have stepped away from the church or mainstream religion and tapped into ancestral veneration and earth magic and earth medicine, plant medicine as well. And I feel like you may have been surrounded by people and community who probably may have looked down on you for the choices that you've made right now. You're rocking crystals instead of your cross, or now you're wearing the ankh, and you know you don't really carry the Bible with you no more. You're not dropping Bible verses like you used to. You're talking about Osho and stuff, like what you got going on? So. For some of you, you have confused your community and they may feel like you are no longer under God, goddess's favor, or you're no longer aligning with um, the reason why you're here according to them and according to mainstream religion, okay? The divine wants you to know that your path needed to be unconventional. It needed to um digress dissect i just heard away from the main path and where everybody else was going you were meant to be in a league of your own in a lane of your own the divine is really wanting you to understand that and the reason why your path needed to be unconventional was because you needed to break generational curses and cycles right generational you know, curses and cycles those are patterns that um, our bloodline has been engaging in for generations and obviously your path is needing to be unconventional just to break those curses and cycles also to kind of I guess shock the system of family friends community they needed to see you being unapologetically following your divine call your unique purpose for being here in this time and space in order for them to be blessed Okay, so it's pretty deep. It's really profound. Um, and that goes with family. Many of you, you you're needing um, adventure and play. Conformity wasn't for you. Um, living the quiet life really isn't for you. For some of you, your trauma has convinced you that the quiet life is where you should be and it's actually not. You're needing to be, again, the word unconventional with your approach to um, your purpose and your divine call. Okay. So your blessings will actually bless other people. So I feel like this is for somebody who, again, you went outside of the norm. You followed your own call, your own path and people seeing that, oh, wow. You know, mother, father, God is still blessing this person. Um, this person, their light is actually brighter than it, than it ever was. Like what's going on? And for those of you, if you're in that situation, there's a requirement for you to testify, to drop a testimony, to get on your platform or get on your podium, get in front of the microphone and tell people how you've been blessed and what it took for you and where you came from and where the divine has been guiding you and how you even did that. That's gonna be very important for somebody you're going to teach people the how, okay? And I did a New Year's Eve as well as a New Year's Day um, upload. And I was talking about many of you are rising into mentorship and coaching. You're going to be doing that in 2022. And that is an ordained path. It's not you choosing the path to make money. It's because that's where you're meant to be in this time and space. All right, you are divine's gift, to this world and you are a divine gift.
gift to someone or others. Somebody could have forfeited the blessings that you were meant to bring into their life because they wanted to conform. They decided that, you know, the unconventional path wasn't for them. They needed to follow what society says. They needed to listen to society's bylaws and they neglected, mishandled, or abandoned the divine's gift in their life. There's a need for you to separate and to balance your emotions if you have been experiencing that and not to take it personal. Understand that it is divine's will that that situation happened and you need to go off and you need to continue fulfilling your purpose in this time and space and you will still be a gift for somebody. You will still be a blessing for somebody because you're going to awaken them to their own divinity and their own purpose, okay? So I just, I, I wanted to share that with you all. Um, that was coming in. I also want to talk about um, friendships and family dynamics and partnerships that you're coming into. And um, it's important to understand that not everybody is fake right? That's not everybody's testimony. Not everyone has fake family. Not everyone has fake friends and colleagues and stuff like that. And that's a beautiful thing, right? For some, you could be perceiving um, an energy from these people because they really don't know how to handle you now. You've undergrown, um, undergrown, wow. You've undergone such a level of expansion, you're not the same. Many of you, you could have lost weight. You could have grew your hair out or cut your hair off. You could have relocated. You could have just gave, given up all of your material items. And now people just don't really know how to approach you. Um, they could be intimidated by you in this change. And they, they just don't know how to present themselves to you anymore. And also, they're seeing God's hand in your life. And, you know, especially for those of you who were naysayers um, or those of them who kind of doubted what you were saying your life was supposed to be according to the Most High, those people are actually going to receive spiritual expansion and elevation by you doing exactly what you're here to do, okay? So I hope you liked this message. I hope you resonated with it. Um... If you need any private sessions with me, make sure you click on the link in the description box. The Pussy Porter program is enrolling right now. We start at the end of February. The Embodying the Goddess program will be enrolling this year as well. Um, and there's just so much excitement in the air. So I hope that you tap in. I hope that you tap into these miracles that are here and tap into you being a divine gift and you being a blessing to others just by you shining your light, just by how you move and how you speak and engage with other people, okay? So that is your prophetic word. I hope that you have a great day. I'll see you on the next one. Peace and love.